Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome, thank you for stopping by, here's my Christmas lights, dramatic Christmas look, if you want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and leave a comment, stay tuned. Alright, let's get started. So I already primed my layer using my LA Girl Polka Sealer in the shade Toffee and I'm using my Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tale and I'm taking the shade Marry Me. And I'm going to take a fluffy Brendan brush and blend that into my crease and this came in my December BoxyCharm box. I'm just blending it out and I'm building up the color and blending that towards my brow bone. It's not really a transition color. But I just wanted to do Christmas colors. And I was just gonna do green in my crease and then put gold on my lid, but then I decided to add some purple because I just thought it looked too plain. So next I'm taking the shade Moody, it's a bit of a darker green, and I'm just gonna go over that previous color because I felt like it wasn't green enough. And this is my color pop through my eyes palette. And you might hear breathing in the back as my son is sleeping on my lap, he's tired. Next I'm going to take this darker black shade called Forest, taking a crease brush and I'm just applying that into my crease to darken it and define it a little bit. Now I'm going to go into Robin Hood and apply that into my crease as well. And also pack a little bit on my outer V. Next I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal White Base. And I'm going to take a paintbrush and I'm going to cut my crease. And I'm just going to stamp the area that I want to cut and taking my time doing one section at a time so I can be as precise as I can. And I really like how this overall look came out because I kind of was making it up as I went along. This is my first time using that fairy tale palette and my first time ever using Storybook Cosmetics. It was pretty good. The colors are pigmented and they lasted all day and they blended well. So that's my thoughts on that. So I'm just you now cutting my crease. Next, going back into our story with schematics, I'm going into that first shade there. I don't remember what the name is called, but I'm taking a small shader brush and I'm just pointing that into my inner part of my eye. And I'm going to put in the outer part. Next, I'm going into my Misunderstood Dizzy Villains palette, also by ColourPop, and I'm taking this purple shade right here, and I'm going to take a smaller shader brush, and I'm going to apply that in the middle. This boy is knocked out now. He's snoring. He got up really early this morning. And then I'm also going to take my finger and just put some more of that color on because it's kind of like a pressed color but I thought it came out pretty good together and now I'm just blending out the edges make sure everything's nice and blended doesn't look like I have three separate colors 
And I'm going back into those same colors that I used previously just to make sure that I, the colors did get lost and everything is nice and vibrant and well blended. Okay, so I used my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in jet black to do my wing liner. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Long Less Than Drama Gel Eyeliner in black to line my waterline. Then I'm taking the shade Moody to smoke out my lower lash line. Now I'm going into that purple because I didn't want it to be too dark up under there under my waterline as well and I think I would definitely do this look again because I just like the way that it came out it's really pretty you know sometimes you plan a look and it doesn't come out the way you want I was pleasantly surprised I want to take this shade here to highlight my brow bone it's more like a white shimmer shade I felt like it tied into this look pretty well And I'm just blending out those edges okay so here's the hard part I'm trying on a squiggly line for my Christmas lights and I'm using my Maybelline Master Chrome eye pigment and it is Emerald Envy I believe but I'm just using an eyeliner brush to draw that line And this is my first time ever doing this. I didn't try doing this prior to recording. I said it is what it is. And I did wear this to work. And I got a lot of compliments on it. Okay, so now I'm just taking my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner black, jet black. And then I'm taking off the excess and I'm just creating the bulbs. This is really tricky to do on your own face. I'm pretty sure that I probably can do a better job. I mean, I know I can do a better job doing it on someone else. And I probably didn't have to make so many lights, but like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I think it's pretty good for a first attempt. I'm just making sure I take off the excess so it don't be so gloppy. And now I'm just taking some face paint and I'm filling in the bulbs. You can use any color you want. It doesn't have to be a certain specific color. And I'm taking some silver glitter and I'm outlining my crease. And later on I decided to outline the top part of my liner because I felt like I needed a little bit more drama something something okay now I'm going to set my face using my Maybelline setting master fix blasting fix setting spray to set my face and then I also took some translucent setting powder and I packed that onto my Christmas lights so they would last all day it wouldn't fade away and you know then I'm just going to take my fan and fan my face. I also use some glitter on some of my lights too. As I have glitter face paint that I got on Amazon. And there you have it. Here is my completed Christmas lights look. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had fun doing it and wearing it out. And uh, my next video would be of snowflakes and then I have one of Christmas ornaments and holly. So I appreciate you guys' support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, maybe tomorrow. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.